Russia is preparing for World War III, Putin's defense chief readying for military action. Russia is already preparing for World War III with North Korea, the head of Russia's Security Council has revealed. Following North Korea's declaration that it now has nuclear weapons capable of reaching the whole of the U.S., the security chief said Russia was considering its options. Nikolai Petrushev said Russia had been making calculations in case the war of words escalates into a real war, but advocated a diplomatic solution to the crisis. North Korea released pictures this week showing larger missiles with new rocket engines, and analysts claim this means the rogue nation is getting closer to his goal of having a nuclear warhead. The launch of the Hwasong-15 ballistic missile, which Pyongyang claim is capable of striking the whole mainland of the U.S. did Washington to warn the world was closer to war. In response, Senator Lindsey Graham said Washington would have no other choice but go to war with the rogue nation if things don't change. Russia has repeatedly called on Washington to tone down its fiery rhetoric, and Mr. Petrushev said war cannot be ruled out but must be avoided. Mr. Petrushev added, we basically share a border with them. That's why we are interested in a political and diplomatic solution. Speaking to Russian news agency RIA Novosti he said, if there is military action, and you know that certain countries do not rule it out, then a range of different problems may follow, including for us. Russia called for a double freeze which would see Washington and its allies to halt their drills, and Pyongyang to suspend its nuclear program. Washington refused to consider the plan, which it called insulting for comparing its activity to that of North Korea. Addressing South Korea's National Assembly in November Trump insisted that the U.S. would not be intimidated by Kim Jong-un's rhetoric and called for other countries to respond to the twisted regime's threats with the sign of military force. He also warned the three largest aircraft carriers in the world are appropriately positioned to face Pyongyang. He has also previously called diplomatic negotiations with the rogue state a waste of time. Addressing the UN in October Trump called Kim Jong-un rocket man on a suicide mission and vowed to totally destroy the corrupt nation.